to Centennial High School's Winter Guitar Concert. Can you give these guys another round of applause? For those of you who don't know me already, I am Allison Cowan. It is my honor to be the director of the Centennial High School Guitar Program. What you see before you today on this stage warms my heart because we've been through two years of craziness where we couldn't perform, where we, we weren't sure what was going on, where events got canceled, but now it's so wonderful to see this many students back on stage together, yes? Yeah. Centennial is um, the only high school in Tennessee that has a guitar program in multiple levels. So what you see before you is a mixture of introduction to guitar, intermediate and advanced guitar. So technically, a student can come to Centennial and be in guitar all four years. Uh, I have a couple of students that have done that. If you are a senior and you were in guitar freshman year, could you stand up? a lot of our own arranging and uh, this next song that we're going to do is a version of Radiohead's Creek that was an arrangement done by the Intermediate and Advanced Group.
has Nadia Monroe on vocals and we're switching out now. A lot of the students that come into guitar, they take guitar for many different reasons. Some are taking it just to get a fine arts credit. Some are taking it because they really want to learn guitar. And the beautiful thing is that a vast majority of the intro introduction to guitar kids that you see on stage tonight started playing guitar 16 weeks ago and now here they are on a large stage so we're going to switch over to our introduction to guitar class they'll be playing a version of uh, leonard cohen's hallelujah and uh, here we go
So as you can see, here at Centennial High School, we have amazing talent in this building. It is wonderful to work here. This ensemble has been featured before in, um, let's see, first they became the uh, very first ensemble to ever get invited to perform at the Tennessee Music Education Association State Conference. And then they've also, this ensemble has been featured in the magazine associated with the National Association for Music Education. Um, because of their creativity, because of their talents, because of what's happening on this stage. We are going to wrap up tonight uh, with a piece that's very familiar, it's very near and dear to my heart. Um, I happen to love the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, but to be completely honest, their music can be very complex. One of the things that you don't normally see guitar programs doing is playing music that is in up to six different parts. But the kids asked me to do this, so here we go, guys, right? Um, this next piece is an arrangement of Christmas Eve in Sarajevo, originally done by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. We are bringing in one of our favorites here, Miss Esther Furlong from our orchestra tonight. Yay, everybody good morning. did auditions for the first time ever in her life and made second chair in the Williamson County Honors Orchestra and has just been accepted to the Tennessee State Orchestra. The other thing that you will see with this piece is you'll notice that different electric guitars are playing different parts. There's other electrics in the back that'll come in at different times. The acoustics are playing different things at different times. And all of these students have learned how to read a type of music called tablature this semester. And in our guitar program, we learn how to read tablature, we learn standard notation, we learn how to read chord charts, and we even learn how to read the Nashville notation system. So a lot of these students came into the classroom having never touched music before, and I'm very proud of them for everything they've accomplished this semester. Christmas Eve.